virtual feast. Um, my grandfather died yesterday, and my grandmother died in February, and so I wasn't going to come tonight um, because I was like a puffy mess this morning, and then I thought, you know what, if my grandmother were here, she was the pinnacle party girl, and she would say to me, you know what, put on a dress, smile, and we're going to eat. So this... <laughs> Part of this is the art of honoring your grandparents. Um, and we have some beautiful pictures. Now, if Grandpa was here, he would look at that and go, wow, that looks really good. I want to eat that. And then, you know, being the factoid guy, he'd be like, did you slice bread? You know, I was, you know, came out, I was born before sliced bread. And he was born in 1913. Sliced bread came out in 1924. Um, and that is really the sign of a good picture if it evokes hunger or an emotion. So I decided, you know, I, I moved here to um, Phoenix from California recently, and I noticed I was taking more pictures with my mobile phone um, than my fancy Nikon. Um, and an interesting factoid on Flickr, actually the most widely used camera is the iPhone. Um, more than a Nikon and more than a canon. And I think that's really a testament of how food is love. It's connection. We want to share with people you know, what we're doing in our daily lives. Um, in fact, so much so, the Associated Press has called us food bloggers the pasta paparazzi, where food is now the celebrity. Um, and I think it's more about spreading love you know, and, and, and connection and family. A um, couple of things on etiquette. Never piss off the chef because they have knives. And yes, I have pissed off some chefs before. And it's interesting to see their, you know, their veins like flare. And, and also, don't shoot people chewing because what will happen is someone will shoot you eating and it will appear on Flickr and YouTube or something. Um, something my grandmother would say is don't look with your mouth, look with your eyes. Um, with mobile phones, the playing field is equal, so it's all about seeing. Um, for lighting, the best lighting is natural and in open patios, um, and particularly with the cocktail. As Grandma would say, booze makes everything better. <laughs> um, yeah, go Grandma! Um, sometimes when you're in a restaurant at night, you might need light bulb lighting. Here's a picture of my friend with his incredible phone lighting these fried green tomatoes as I take a picture, and then our other friend is taking a picture of us, um, which is kind of cool. See shapes. So the eye likes triangles and circles. And what's nice about triangles, it's like an arrowhead that's saying, look here. So like in this rice pudding, your eye naturally goes to you know the best part of the pudding. Um, see balance. So back to triangles, you know, a nice picture has balance. So here we have some Joe's Real Barbecue with beans, turkey, and toast. Um, but the great part of this picture is actually the sauce, which is in the middle. Um, and that's where people's eyes will go to. Um, as a healthy living blogger, I want to show people that eating healthy is vibrant and fun. So, And I have food allergies. So here we have coconut milk-based yogurt, we have gluten-free cereal and rice milk, and we have quinoa. And doesn't that look delicious? Um, and sometimes, too, you know, we always take pictures like this. Sometimes just tilting your camera can make, like, lunch in the cafeteria look way more interesting. Um, and also, like, lattes, just bend and get, like, table angle um, with your phone. And... You know, here in Phoenix, we actually have a lot of really beautiful things here. And I'm coming from California, and, you know, I mean, the restaurants here are just really amazing, and, and particularly shiny, sparkly things, right? People like to look at stuff like that. Um, motion. What's neat about the iPhone, it can capture motion and fire, which is great in kitchens. And, I mean, and going back to moments, like when my grandmother used to cook, she would, like, stir with her ass. And I'm thinking, well, I wish I had my camera to picture that, you know? Um, um, you know, and food is passion, right? People love and eating and, and, and cooking, you know, and, and capturing those moments. And, like, cupcake people are fanatic about frosting. Um, it's pretty amazing. But, again, it's really, really cool what you can do on a camera. Um, and, of course, those photo effects, I always recommend taking pictures in the raw. And then you can do photo effects later. Personally, I use Picnic.com because I'm lazy and Photoshop is too complicated. But Picnic makes it really easy to do really cool Cool effects. Um, if you're going to do food blogs, people love gooey stuff. So anything that they can stick their finger in and let it lick, like hummus, they're like, oh, I love that. That's wonderful. Um, and tiramisu, can't go wrong with that. And finally, the ultimate, bacon is love. <laughs>
Anything with bacon is going to be popular. Every time my blogger tweet that, people love bacon. It's just awesome. Um, and finally, thank you for, for, for your time and attention. And, and as my grandparents would say, thank you for visiting. We have plenty to eat. And I, I love you, Grandma and Grandpa. Thank you.